What's going on guys? It's Brandon back here again today for another BFR. And another BFR where they lose a preseason game. Game 5 versus the Minnesota Wild, 7.30 game on October 4th. It was on center ice, so I didn't have to turn tune into free TV for that. Um, so it was Minnesota's broadcast, which was nice. The score was not nice. Ends up being 6-1 Minnesota. Shots were 34-22 Minnesota. Hits 17-9 Chicago and face-offs 27-23 Minnesota. Power play, Chicago goes 0 for 4. Minnesota goes 2 for 4. Flurry saves 21 out of 22. Morazic saves 28 out of 34. This team played abysmal, and this was basically their roster. I don't think it's possible for them to get worse than last year, but it might just be, just considering how bad the defense has been this preseason. Uh, first uh, first line is Bertuzzi, Bedard, Teravainen. Second line, Hall, Kurashev, Mikheyev. Third line, Felino, Dickinson, Anderson. Fourth line, Smith, Donato, Maroon. First D pair was Brody and Seth Jones. Second D, uh, D pair, Velocic and Murphy. Third D pair, Allen and Phillips. So that right there is probably five-sixths of your entire lineup. And then you have Morazic and Net. First period, 16-36. It's a Chicago penalty. A double minor for Patrick Maroon for slashing and then unsportsmanlike conduct. Uh, they hold off the penalty until... 12:59, where Minnesota scores with 13 seconds left on the double minor. Power play goal to Marco Rossi with his second of the season, or preseason, from Spurgeon and Chisholm to make it 1-0. Four seconds later, from center ice, um, Jonas Brodeen pulls a Keith Yandel, and what that means, he looks like he's going to dump it down the boards, and instead just fires it right into the net, right off Morazic and into the net. And he gets his first of the preseason from, hey, I'm, I always struggle with this guy's name, Kustadinov, is that how you say it? Um, um, long Russian name. 756, Minnesota penalty to Chisholm for high sticking, that's killed. 206, Minnesota penalty to Zuccarello for tripping, which is also killed. Second period, 1917, Minnesota penalty to Hartman for hooking, which would be killed. 1237, Minnesota penalty to Trennan for slashing, which would be killed. 202, Chicago penalty to Brody for tripping, which would also be killed. 138, it's a Minnesota penalty to Kaprizov for holding which would also be killed. But it's 4-on-4 four because four it's right around there, and at 109, Chicago scores at 4-on-4. Four four. It's a stuff-in goal from Seth Jones with his first of the preseason from Bedard and Morazic to make it 2-1. to one. 42 seconds then left in the uh, second period. It's a penalty to Mikaia for high sticking. So it's 4-on-3. Who scores for Minnesota? It's Mad Zuccarello with a 4-on-3 snipe at 34 seconds. Uh, Zuccarello's second of the preseason. He's 37, and he looks younger every game. From Faber and Rossi to make it 3-1. The third period, then, is nothing but pain. 1947, it's a Minnesota breakaway goal to Brock Faber with his first of the preseason from Erickson, Eck, and Zuccarello. 1814, minute and 33 seconds later, it's a Minnesota goal to Marcus Johansson with his first of the preseason from Ogren and Bro Brodeen for, to make it 5-1. Uh, 1234, Minnesota gets their last of the game. It's a deflection from Kyrill Kaprizov, Kirill the Thrill. Possibly a future Blackhawk, given the rumors. Uh, from Zuccarello and Eric Sinek to make it 6-1 Minnesota. I will say, Minnesota beating the Hawks 13-3 over two preseason games is um, disturbing. And especially they need to have Matt Boldy playing. They didn't have, um, uh, what's his name in the lineup? Uh, Dan, Jacob Middleton wasn't playing. Um, other guy, some other, I think there was another guy that was missing that usually would be in their starting lineup. And they demolition to this Blackhawks team pretty well over two games. Of course, game six is actually starting a couple minutes ago. Um, I just, I, I had work, so I couldn't get the video out. Uh, I, I, if you saw the prediction videos, I, those are obviously all pre-recorded. This is the first video I'm recording since those pre-recordings. But uh, game six tonight in St. Louis is in Milwaukee, and it'll be the final preseason game. It'll be very telling how the season's going to go, I think. Especially since they're, from the lineup they have out right now, they're not icing a NHL lineup. Bedard's playing, Kurashev's playing, Donato's playing, Anthony Sioux's playing. Other than that, guys who make the opening right roster, Reichel maybe, um, and not one D guy that's probably going to be starting, Comesso and Soderblom, the goaltenders. We'll talk about that, though, in tomorrow's BFR. I want to thank you all so much for watching this video, and I shall see you all in the next one. Have a good one.